Hello everyone, welcome back to World of Warships. Today we're going to be taking a look at the German Tier 3 cruiser, the Kohlberg. It's a lot like the St. Louis that the Americans get at Tier 3. It's got a lot of guns on the side. It's got a total of 1205mm guns. And this ship is excellent at sailing around in circles and shooting the opponent to death. So let's take a look how she fares. I thought it'd be fun to switch things up a bit. I do have the New Orleans Tier 8 Cruiser. I have made it up to rank 5 for a little while. And I decided it would be best to get the uh, New Orleans Outfit it before I take her out for a video. I've got almost all the upgrades I've been thinking about whether or not to get the main battery upgrade, which only gives like 0.3 fire rate and Adds a bit of turret degree uh, turret traverse time But there we go. We found our match. We're up to tier 5 So we don't have the best matchmaking for us personally Although we do only have like a 9.5 kilometer spawning distance. So we're going to try and keep our distance from those New Yorks and Congos. And other scary things might be coming our way. Let's take a look at the Langleys. Both are fully upgraded. From the look of things. And there we go. We're finally loaded in. So let's take a look at our situation we're on the Solomon Islands map pretty good you can see my little Premier League flag over there with the three stars it's good like two weeks left in, this, luck, in the current season so I shouldn't have any problems with getting to rank one just taking a look around it does there we go we've got someone in the secondary league I've only seen one person so far with the Jolly Roger, it's quite rare. Not a lot of people seem to be uh, flying the rank flags as I am. But as you can see in the lower left corner of the screen, there is six guns on each side of the ship. There we go, that's quite the firepower. And they all reload quickly as well. It's not the fastest ship in the game though, that's uh, a bit unfortunate. But we shouldn't have any problems getting uh, some action once we get near to the corner of the island over there. Yeah, I've been in recording some more XCOM as well. I hope you guys are enjoying that series. I will be putting up another video, like four hours after this video goes live. And it's a pretty fun game, so... I will certainly be having fun playing it and uploading it for the channel. And I hope everyone will enjoy watching it as much as I have am enjoying playing it at the moment. I've never played on Classic, I did play on Normal, but I did play the Long War mod. Which ups the difficulty as well, so... I'm used to some of the difficulty, but it's still getting myself adjusted to playing carefully and all that. It's just not really in my nature. There we go, we've got a phoenix on the other side of the island. We're gonna quickly reload armor piercing because it's a lightly armored scout cruiser. He's gonna be doing a little circle, so I probably won't get guns on. Get spotted by an airplane. Oh, turns out we can fire over the island. There we go, get a hitless funnel. We've got a destroyer coming around the island soon, so we're gonna power up and we're gonna start turning. There we go, reload high explosive. We're gonna try and blow him to hell. You can just see the amount of firepower pouring out of this little ship. go we're just staring through that destroyer and the 
And there we go, we got the first kill. Well, not of the game, of course, but we did get our first personal kill. Which is very nice. And that's why I thought I'd take this ship out. It's a nice little change from uh, the usual pace of big ships and slow fire rates. Oh, our carriers decided to... Try and give him some friendly encouragement to try and move his ship so he doesn't get blown to bits. We've got a Murmansk, which is basically a tier 5 Omaha cruiser but reshaped for the uh, Soviets. Managed to get a hit. That's good. We're not spotted because of the... no, never mind. There was a smoke screen in the way, but not anymore, apparently. Or it's not as beneficial as it used to be. Running out of range on the Murmansk, so we're gonna try and close in if possible. He is trying to get away, so that's gonna make it more difficult for us. And once again, we're not the fastest ship in the ocean. He's turning back towards us, that's gonna be a grave mistake on his part. Trying to figure out the lead on this ship. Haven't played it much for a while now. There we go, he's turning face us. So we're gonna get some armor piercing in his ship. Now oh, he does have torpedoes if I remember correctly, so we're gonna have to be a bit careful. Reload armor piercing. There are high explosive I mean. We've lost a turret, but it doesn't really matter. We've got a ton of turrets anyway. I'm gonna start turning, bringing the other side of the guns to bear. And someone else takes him out before us. That's fine. Eight seconds until our turret is back up. We're still spotted at the moment, but... Nobody seems to be prioritizing us, which is fine. We're gonna try and catch up to the New York and the Langley. New York is foolishly trying to push him or something. I don't know what's going on over there. We've got the Izias Love. She's got a spot it now. That's unfortunate. Although we are closing on the carrier. That's good. We're firing at basically max range, so I don't think any of these shots will be hitting, but. We're gonna try anyway to discourage him if possible. Now we're gonna try firing at the Congo. We might be able to land some shots on him. Set him on fire or something. New York's now looking our way. This is uh, starting to seem pretty bad. Oh no, he's... Not anymore apparently. But we've had better results firing at the Congo thus far, so we're gonna adjust our course slightly, get some more guns to bear. We're gonna start bringing in the HE spam. He's reversing because he ran himself aground on the island. We've got torpedo bombers incoming. That's too bad, we don't have a lot of anti-air on this. Yep, there they go. Torpedoes are in the water, but because we saw them coming, we have no problems avoiding them. There's the bloody destroyer. Let's do to him what we did to the Nicholas. Turn to avoid potential torpedo fire. There we go. Get some more shots off. We managed to dodge those. Took one on the nose there. That's a bit unfortunate. Control the flooding. Take him out. We're not dead yet, somehow. That's always nice to see, though. Get some shots in on the New York. Try and get him on fire.
There we go. We're gonna deliver him the death of a thousand cuts. Got his aft on fire. We're gonna give it a bit more lead. Try and get his front on fire as well. The more fires, the more hit points he loses. There we go. We're gonna make sure he pays dearly for trying to kill us. And he's probably gonna succeed, but oh, who cares. There we go, get some good damage in on him. Just keep the guns firing, aim at his top deck. Just put out the fire. We're still not dead, so... We're just gonna keep firing. Repairing damage, which is unfortunate. But we've set him on fire again, which means he's probably gonna die now. But then again, so am I. Oh, someone else took him out. So we're not dead yet. Time to fire at the Langley. Wow, I just noticed we're only on 357 hit points. That's not a lot. We're actually capping the zone now, which is good. Although we have an enemy capping our zone as well, so we've got to try and... Oh, there we go. We've lost... They've just lost a battleship that might have been in a position to take us out. So we now have free reign on the carrier, basically. Our other destroyer buddy is closing in on him as well. Pouring a ton of shots into Langley still. Langley is occupied trying to avoid our tor our destroyer. We lost another ship, we're gonna keep firing at the Langley. We're tearing him apart, basically. Just gonna keep firing high explosive. We set his flight deck on fire so he can't launch any more aircraft. He's managed to avoid our destroyer's torpedoes, which means we're gonna get most of the damage in on him now with our shots. Oh, never mind, he's, on, he's had another salvo in the water. And there we go, he takes him out. We've, we've went out of the capture zone though, that's unfortunate. Yeah, that Clemson over there has taken most of our kills. I, I dare say we could have had a third one because we did most of the damage on that Langley. Although he did sink pretty nicely. Our battleship has managed to hit our, their destroyer at least once. So just keep resetting. And then we can capture for the win. Good show. Tell everyone that that was a great battle. We're gonna try and get some more... Not sure if we actually have any anti-air on this ship. I don't think so. No, we can't focus it on the airplane, so... Well, that's it, pretty much. It's a fun ship! And we probably did a lot of damage. We got a lot of hits, that's for sure. Can't wait to check out the post-battle results. It was a pretty quick match as well, all things considered. We've still got like 8 minutes left on the clock. There's not really anything to do anymore. I mean, we could try and get some main battery fire on those uh, torpedo bombers, but that's not really going to do much. They're just going to circle around where the Langley sank. I'm going to stay in the cap zone, so we win in a few moments nonetheless. Their destroyer gets some more torpedoes in from the look of things, finishes off our battleship. Our friendly destroyer has left the cap zone. He's probably going to try and get the kill, but we're just going to stay here. We're going to make sure that we secure the victory. There, Destroyer. Even if he got in the cap zone now, he's not going to be able to get the, uh, the capture because we've started capturing way ahead of him. Just going to give a little salute to their torpedo bombers. And we're just gonna basically sail around and wait for the win. Their destroyer naturally is gonna try and flee. Even if we wanted to catch up 
to the destroyer wouldn't be making it. Our Clemson is gaining distance on us, despite us trying to go full power. But yeah, all things considered, that was a pretty fun match. We've got... Oh my god. We've got 255 recorded hits. 6 incapacitations, 7 fires. Only 2 kills. I feel like we could have had a third one for all the damage and firing that we did. Oh, the enemy destroyer has been spotted again. Although we're nearly done capturing at this point. We're no longer detected by the... Uh, Torpedo bombers, they've probably ran out of fuel and fell in the water at this point. Their destroyer took out our battleship. So give him a salute in chat. He did a He fought well, we're gonna give him a compliment. And we're gonna give ours oh one as well. Both good players down at tier four. And five. And there we go, we got the win. We captured the enemy base. So we've got 156,000 credits, 407... 3100 experience for first win of the day with premium bonus. We've managed to outperform everyone else, which is hardly surprising if I do say so myself. We've racked up... 60,000 damage. Which is a bloody ton. You don't see many people do above 60,000 damage when they're at like tier 6 or 7 and we've done it with a tier 3. Battle only took like nearly 15 minutes, we've traveled for 54 kilometers. We didn't receive as much damage as I thought we would have, but yeah. That was a pretty fun match and it's a pretty fun ship, all things considered. We've got enough experience to research the Carl's Ruhr. And we're gonna research you. We're, gonna, we're not gonna buy you yet. I'm a little low on credits because I wanna upgrade the New Orleans. But that has been the tier three Kohlberg. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please leave a like if you did. Leave a comment down below if you have anything to say. And I will hopefully see you all next time. Have a good one, folks.